your eyes focus on the flowers around you. And to your left, you notice a huge patch of bright red flowers, so vivid in color. Can you see those flowers? Yes. <clears throat> Very good. Could you describe them for me? They're white. White, beautiful, beautiful. Is there anything else you would like to tell me about these flowers? To your right, oh, go ahead. To your right, there's a patch of sunny yellow flowers. Can you see those flowers? Yes. What would you like to tell me about these flowers? Describe them. It's a field, the wind is blowing. Beautiful, very good. Very good. As you gaze in front of you in this garden, you notice there's a little cobbled path. It meanders off down into the garden and off into the distance. And you wish to find out more about what is at the bottom of that path in this beautiful garden. So slowly you begin to make your way off the bench and over to the path, walking down into the garden. And as you make your way down this path and further into the garden, I want you to tell me what you see or experience. There's a house. House. Tell me about this house. It's a portal. A portal. What does it look like? It's an old house. What color? It's brown. Okay. It was sad, but the lot is there. It's not sad. Let's walk up to this house. Let's walk up the steps and open the door. Tell me more. Okay, spirits that must cross, well, we shall help them. But do know that you are experiencing this as an observer. You will not feel any emotional pain or sadness. We will, we will help them together. Let's observe these spirits. What can you tell me about them? There's a place. There. Okay. They don't know where they go there. Tell me about them. Do, do you recognize any of them? I just feel they're all around. So there are there a, a great many spirits? A lot. Is that the uncle? Is there? It's going to help us. We'll be able to help. Who, who is coming to help us? We are. We're helping them. Okay. Let us, let us talk to him. 
Let us find out who are these people. A long time to go. Yes. Do they, do they want to go? Yes. They didn't know. Let us talk to them now. I'm, ta I'm speaking. Let us speak to them and ask each, each one of the spirits, please listen and look within you in your hearts and you will see and feel a spark of white light. It will feel warm, it will feel good, and it is growing. Do you see it growing? They do. They do. Allow it to grow, allow it to grow. And I am calling to Brother Michael, beloved Archangel Michael, to come now to join this group of beautiful souls and to take them and lead them as the light grows. Now, I am asking the spirits to look, look up, look into the distance and look, and there is another white light. It swirls in a counterclockwise direction. It swirls and swirls and forms a tunnel. Michael will be leading you towards that tunnel. So hold hands, join Michael, and begin to move towards the swirling light and into the tunnel. Tell me when all are in the tunnel. It's okay. We have all the time in the world. We are patient. Let them go. Are they going? Yes, they're going. Are they all gone? They're, they're all gone. Okay. Are any left? Are there any in the house still? No, they know. Oh, they know. Now that, now that they are all gone, the house is empty. We will look up towards the portal and watch as it continues to spin and seal until it disappears into the distance, taking these beautiful spirits home to source, to be healed and to be loved. Tell me about this house. Do you know why they chose to stay? It's just, I'm connected to it. You are. There's many. We have to open the portals. Are there any more in the house? Not that house, no. Okay, so we will work with this house today. Now. Do you see this house? Yes. Very good. Let's, That's my family. Let, let's move our attention to this other house. Let's walk slowly to the door and open it. Tell me, as you look into this house, what you see. Do they want to go? Yes, they wanted to go. They didn't for a while. They didn't. They couldn't leave yet, but they know it's time. It is time. That's very good. It is time. It is time. And they need to understand they will be so happy when they go home. They will be loved and healed. So now... We call to Michael again to help us, to stand by 
And let us tell this group of souls that we love you very much and we will help you go home to source. So feel your heart, feel the warm white light growing in your heart. Feel, do you feel it? Do they feel it? Very good. Let it grow. Let it spin. And the portal is back again. The beautiful portal of white light spinning counterclockwise, forming a tunnel. Beloved souls, follow Brother Michael into the tunnel. Home to source where you will be healed and loved and reunited with your family and friends. Are they going? We are watching. You'll travel safely and swiftly. Angels, very good. Very good. The angels are helping. The angels are pure love. Tell me when the last of the souls has left the house. They have left, but there may be more as we go. And not today. Not today. Yes, we will come back for more another day. So let us, let us close the door of this house and tell these souls that we send them with love and thank them for the work they did here and for the lives that they led and they are to be healed and loved by God. So let us take a breath. I'm just going to breathe slowly. I would like you now to follow on the path again, following this path away from these houses, down the path to the beach, and you will see a beautiful crystalline beach, sparkling white sands, and the most unusually beautiful pink water you have ever seen. It's lapping on the shore gently. You stop at this beach in wonder and then continue on the path, walking and walking until you arrive at the next most appropriate place and time on your journey today. And when you have arrived, tell me, what do you see? I don't see anything. It's okay. Let's walk some more. Walk down the path for a while. I have a message for you. Yes, please share your message. What is your message? You have to continue what you're doing. Who is who is speaking to you right now? Okay. Okay. Thank you for that message. Is there any, is there any more to the message? Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
That's this beautiful. This person shall be great. She is too great. Yes, yes. To her. She doesn't like to talk about it. Right. Because she thinks it's ego. It's no. Suspect. Yes. Tell me more. You're connected. How? How connected? In what way? You came here together. You uh, very good. How do we know each other from before? We're all a part of a team. The team. Am I speaking to a member of the team? Yes. Is this my team? And Shelley's team? It's, it's a big team. It's a big team. Yes. Tell me more Maybe. about about the oh, team. You was alone for most of it. That isolation is for a reason. Yes. Yes, we have connected now. That's a good thing. I sense that also. You've been noticing the changes. Huh? There's been a lot of changes lately. Huh? Yes. But you see it. Yes. Don't you? Oh, yes. Can you? It's the same as it was for you. Yes, yes. She, she didn't have crash course. Yes. It's one of the ones. One of the ones. It's going to happen quickly. Yes, it is. The timelines. She wanted to know about the timelines. Right. The timelines. We're on the timeline. It's coming. Time for you isn't the same as time for us. No, it is not. It feels much longer to us. Could you share, while, while we are speaking with you, could you share with us some information about the timeline we are on? And, and we want you to know joy is the key. Yes. Joy joy don't give it to fear joy is the key the more joy you bring the quicker it happens don't give it to anything that's fear-based joy we're having fun we're seeing it from the other side oh we have joy <laughs> we love joy yes joy We try not to. <laughs> um, may I ask you, please, if I know you can't tell us everything, but information helps us so much to feel that joy. Could you tell us, looking at our time, the earth time, is this something that will be is there something big coming or can you tell us how things will happen and when? Whatever you can share, we will accept it with love. It's all an illusion. Yes. Anything that you see that you perceive as something big or scary, it's not real. Right. It's not even real. It doesn't have to be real. It's an illusion. There's a lot in dark. It's a dance. It's the great dance. You see light and dark. As good and evil, we see it as an experience. Yes, an experience. 
That's what we work to do. We're spirits in ourselves. Yeah, you know that. But don't focus on the dark so much as you see it as great evil. And, but we all choose bad. Yes. Yes, what you perceive as big things are coming, but you don't have to participate. Joy, joy. <laughs> That's the thing, joy, joy. Joy. We want to feel joy all the time. Dance, sing, play music. Mm-hmm. Don't don't get caught up in there's so much misinformation. People with they don't have very good intent. They're still learning their lessons ego and they want to stop it, but they can't because so many sentences it's just what we do you know it's it's not the first time this is you know this what you call life it's just an experience what else would you like to tell us about our missions here what is shelly's mission Exactly. Don't take it so serious. Everybody takes it so serious. It's not that serious. I mean, from your side, it's serious. From our side, we just see it playing out. And worry, worrying about it, get caught up in, um, like, you know, even this thing you call spirituality, uh, it can be turned into what you call religion and dogma, and it's counterproductive, it weighs you down, there's no... X, Y, Z equals whatever your little phrase is. It, it's, uh, there's no formula. There's uh, humanity. Humans want to label everything and put a formula. Everything has to go by the book and be a formula and you have to do this 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 mm -hmm. don't do that don't do that don't do that or you can't achieve this 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 it's not that serious um experience it all oh, the everything it's <laughs> It's just a great dance. Yes, thank you. Uh, we have had this dance many times. It's just a great dance. We're just dancing. So if you could tell us more about, about is there's talk of many different versions of how the great shift is going to happen. What do you see how this is going to take place? Depends on humanity. <laughs> we see there's been many shifts, uh, timelines have changed many times and um, uh, many things have been stopped that was uh, not, not good for we can't have a humanity uh, fall into chaos and collapse on itself so um you know things have started and 
Mm, you know, go back just to it again. Just uh, we we see many. Yeah, there's still many possible timelines. It could play out many different ways. But what you need to understand is God. Uh, what you call the source um, is the creator of all and it's not going to allow itself to destroy itself uh, why, why would a creator uh, destroy itself um, so that's why you know there's always possible timelines but you have to remember that um, the Things will play out for the highest good of humanity. Not uh, humanity is not going to be allowed to destroy itself. Uh, we, humanity is God, the Creator. Okay, we will not destroy itself. This planet uh, is a beautiful planet, and we will not be allowed to destroy itself. So, things play out. Um, the light and the dark plays out. Sometimes the dark has to play out, you know, so you uh, you have to change, you know, it forces change. So you see things that you perceive as darkness and, but it's pushing the, you know, it's, it's pushing the light and it's just all a part of, uh, you know, it's just us as a great dance. Mm -hmm. thank you for sharing that it's good to know that that's what you see and that's what's happening here we'll try to be stronger and keep the joy um i have a question as you're speaking to us now um where are you where are you speaking to us from um here we're uh you know you always think of us as being out there somewhere yes <laughs> Or we're here like God, you know, um, it, the source, the angels, everybody, we're, we're all, uh, there's, there's no them in us, they're not out there, we're just, we're, you don't s s see us because, um, you know, it's like um, vibrating on a different frequency, right? you know, but uh, we're, we're, we're all here together. Yes. Yes, I always think of you as being on the ship. <laughs> uh, we, there is there are ships. Uh, oh yes, Shelley, Shelley goes up in the ships a lot. She loves to go. Oh, she loves tell us, go tell us more about Shelley's trips to the ship. What what does she do when she's there? We can't really tell you. Ah, oh, okay. A lot because. Um, it's not that she's not ready, but it's uh, she overthinks things. We and, all do. Yeah. <laughs> it's the human. So, so it's best for her. Kind of, we, we're not saying keep her in the dark, but she knows. She knows. And, but um, yeah, she's a warrior. And uh, she gets caught up. So uh, yeah, that's why uh, the dreams have it. She still has the dreams, but she overthinks them. So we thought it best that uh, she doesn't. She she just she goes up. Uh, she she plays a big part, like you, like a lot right now. And we're all doing this together, and, and um, yeah, but. That's why uh, she's, yeah, that's, she had a question about the dreams. Uh, she mm -hmm. misses them. She, yes. She, she uh, likes having the dreams because uh, to, she's bewildered by them and uh, she ponders them and uh, thinks about them, but uh, she takes it to um, over overthinks over analyzes um starts thinking uh it's uh maybe she's um not here for 
you know, the good of humanity, which of course she is. Uh, right. But, uh, she, yeah, she overthinks. So that's, that's why we, uh, she hasn't gotten to, yeah, to see a lot lately. But she, she knows we're here. She, she asked a question, uh, have you let me, uh, where have you gone? Uh, she, she, she knows we're here. What can she do to improve the connection with you so that she can hear you more clearly? Right. Right. Um, when she writes uh, in the journal is that's the best way uh, she when she puts on the music and she writes and then sometimes she she thinks oh this is I'm just making all this uh, this is I'm just gonna throw this in the trash but uh, yeah it's uh, it's our best best way to uh, I just she knows it just flows out in the uh -huh. messages uh, the messages just flow out so um she, she needs to you know stop think having so much pressure on her like oh i gotta i gotta do this is all she has to do is just be here uh like you like uh like the other ones you've connected to uh you don't have to put so much pressure on yourself uh, you're just like right here, right now, you know, you're just, you're bringing in the light, you're changing, uh, you mm -hmm. know, the, the, we're changing everything right now, you know, for the better, um, it's, everything's going to be okay, so you don't have to, you know, worry, I know, I mean, you worry about, yes. you know, the ones on the other timeline that, you know, they're, getting the vaccine and but uh you know that's their choice and you know when we all go together uh what is that thing they say where we go one we go all yes we all go together uh some take longer and but no one gets left behind no, no one gets left behind. Even the dark does not get left behind because they're playing a part as well. And they all, everybody returns the source. So uh, and don't, don't worry about the shedding of the ah. vaccine. It is you are protected divinely protected and your bodies are upgraded anyway so it does not affect you at all that's good to know i wasn't going to ask you but you read my mind that's what i've been thinking about uh, yeah. um yeah that's thank you for that information may i ask you has shelly had a lot of lifetimes here on earth um what can you share about that she about her history well, she has had some, um, well, she's ancient, but not necessarily to this realm. Okay. Um, she, uh, she knows that she had a, um, she had a planet that was destroyed and, uh, that's why she is very passionate now about this one. She does not want it to be destroyed. So of she, course. Um, yeah, she, she is here. She has played many roles too. And she has, she has been dark and the light. That's why she understands that the dark has a place too. Um, she has a balance uh, uh, now. She um, neutral. Um, she uh, aligns with a lot, though. She is. Uh, she has a heart for humanity, at, but she gets very annoyed with <laughs> the people. Yes, that's uh, that when you're here, that's an easy reaction. I understand that. 
um, it is difficult because um, there's a lot of struggle here when we're we're trying to stay and do our jobs. Can you share? She does um, not have patience uh, for those that uh, uh, she just wants everybody to, and um, she's got to stop being so annoyed with them and let them have their path. Mm -hmm. So you have to respect others. Yes. Path. What, what are some things that um, Shelly can do to make um, her path and her time here easier, more comfortable? Mm -hmm. Comfortable is a big word for us here on the planet or uncomfortable. What can she do to improve upon that? Like they connected uh, when she connects to ones like you um, and others. Um, she's uh, she's um, vibrating for it now very very, very, very high, and um, um, uh, I don't want to say it's like a drug for her, but she has thought that before, that the uh, high vibration is like a drug in a way, um, but it's familiar, it's our familiar vibration. It, yes, we're drawn it, to that. Yes, that's a that's a good analogy. Yes, <laughs> yes, she she does long for it. Yeah, it's comfortable. It, it feels like home. Yes. Yeah, so we, uh, yeah, she, well, she doesn't need to think of it that way because that gives it a negative connotation. Uh, ah. Because on your planet, uh, you see when people indulge in these things, you see it as very negative and it is harmful to the body. But you have to understand, people are just they they uh, they're longing for uh, you know that um, their tr true essence where they're the vibration they're supposed to be in, and they're just going about it in whatever way they they're true. Yes, are there some? Um, is there any part of Shelley's mission? when she came here that she is not doing that she should be focusing on right now? Um, These things will help her be more comfortable. Not, not necessarily. Okay. Uh, she, uh, she, uh, she's doing her mission just by being here. And what is her, what is her mission? What was her job when she chose to come? What was her to, assignment? To be, be to here. Be. Okay. To, to be here because um, she brings in the connection. Um, so basically, you know, it's like dropping an anchor. Um, mm -hmm. and, the, and the anchor, uh, what's the job with the anchor? Uh, it's just to be there and anchor. Yeah. Um, so okay. she, she thinks she has to have everybody else's mission. Uh, and <laughs> she, she thinks she falls short. But uh, she yes, to understand. Uh, she's an anchor. That's a common thing when we're dealing with the amnesia. You know, we can try a whole bunch of new things to see, so we can try to kind of figure out what our mission is. Um, what else would you like to share with Shelley that that could help her today? Um, um, the energy is. Um, she needs to breathe. Okay, take your time. Take a moment. Is she is she too tired to continue? Um, it, her body needed to relax. It was uh, okay. Coming, it's, uh, very. <sighs> it's okay. Should we stop and pick it up another day? We don't want to exhaust her body. Uh, what do you advise? Do, what do, you... do you have any more questions? Um, not at the moment. Um, mainly questions. I'm sure she's going to have questions about you. Um, do you she have? Knows. I know. But to remind her and bring it to the forefront of her consciousness. For example, do you have a name? Something you are called. <sighs> 
We we and we <laughs> gave her a name one time in our journey. Okay. She thought it was funny, but uh, <laughs> because uh, it was uh, there there are that you have to understand. There's not just one. There's many. Yes, they're collective. And, yes, and uh, okay. We introduced ourselves as um, uh, it was very European sounding names, and um, she when she woke up, she thought it was. But, ah, uh, it's it's it's, <laughs> it's okay. We we don't even. Uh, That's uh, fine. We don't have to even have a name. Uh, right. You uh, call us uh, many things. Um, she 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 knows that, you know we we we've. Uh, well, she, she's been in not just one place. Uh, she. We already told her that you know she has a connection to the Andromedans, and she knows she has a connection with the Pleiadians. Mm -hmm. uh, she she has a con connection to the Lyrians too, uh, Atlantis. Uh, she, she was tell there. us tell us about her lifetimes in Atlantis. What can you share about uh, that? Well, we showed her. Um, she was uh she 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 was a man and she wasn't very nice and uh -huh. she um she was on a part of the council and uh for a while she had to leave the council uh but uh she she didn't understand uh well she she thought what she was doing was the right thing uh but it you can't um, hurt people, and that's why she uh, yeah, she's had you know experiences, uh, yeah, you knowing what it feels like to be under somebody's thumb. Uh, uh, you know, she she still doesn't do well with authority because uh, she mm -hmm. had a place of authority, so she does not like anybody to tell her what to do ah so, okay very good uh, it's it's not necessarily that important to okay. she uh, she's fascinated by you know uh wanting to know more um mm -hmm. the thing she needs to do is she had a part uh, with the crystals of it Atlantis, uh, and she oh, has okay. found her way back to them, and um, she has many, uh, we have sent them to her, and uh, she has got them, um, and she has them all around, and the energy is uh, very strong, very in intense, and um, it, it, that, that also helps with the connection not just for her but for the whole planet what is what is her connection to the atlantean crystals can you tell us more about her role with them or or what the importance of them is to her what crystals, um, did she do with them well the crystals uh you know the way you have you know electricity and uh, healing and, and all these things um that's the that's the purest vibration um, of energy, uh, and um, it's uh, it's time to bring that back to this planet. Um, the energy that you have is, uh, you know, it's a uh, low vibrational uh, uh, m money. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, it is not supposed to be that way. So mm -hmm. you're going to find, uh, you spoke of uh, Tesla, and uh, you're going to find that, that, in, that, that energy is just going to be returning. And that, that's the frequency we're supposed to be in. Yes, uh, yes. So, uh, so those changes um, are during our lifetime. We will see that during our incarnation here. Uh, it, it's coming, not as okay. quick as you want. <laughs> it's. Uh, it's thank you. 
We understand. We understand. Thank you so much for coming through. It's wonderful to talk to you and to have this information. And I know it's going to help Shelly a great deal. Um, now, with the greatest love and blessings and thanks, we are going to allow you to return and Thank you. to where you came. And we are going to bring forward Shelly's higher self. So thank you so much. We bring forward the consciousness of Shelly. And I would like to speak to Shelly's higher self. Is okay. Shelly's higher self with us at the moment? Of course. Well, hello. It's good of you to come and speak with us. Her, her higher self is uh, very connected to uh, who you were speaking to. Um, that's a part of her. Her higher self? Mm -hmm. Okay. And who is this we're speaking with right now? This is her higher self, but her higher self, uh, you have to understand, she is uh, deeply connected. Uh, when uh, now, now she is, uh, when she is uh, um, awake, she's not so much. Uh, she gets distracted. Mm hmm. Yes. What would you like to share with Shelly at the moment? Is there anything special you would like her to know? Just, um, just keep going. Um, the, the writing. Yeah. The writing. The writing. She needs to keep writing. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. good. Um, the connection. Yeah. Keep the connection. Uh, she is, uh, she isolates a lot um, because uh, she's perfectly happy with isolating. Um, it doesn't bother her to be. Uh, she could uh, sit in a room by herself all day and she's perfectly uh, content. Um, but it's uh, now is not the time to be shut off. Um, that's the most important thing is uh, keeping the connections like today. Uh, she tried to think of an excuse <laughs> not, not to have a session, but uh, she uh, sometimes, <laughs> we, sometimes we have to push her. Uh, yes, I understand that. That makes sense to me because I under, I have to be pushed sometimes too. So I completely understand how that works. We'll try to keep things comfortable for her when we do do sessions together. Yes, yes. Make it easy. Um, and, and for you to, uh, you have to, uh, the, the online connection right now is important because um, many people are isolated and, um, mm -hmm. They, they need that connection. So uh, for you to keep doing what you're doing and um, yeah, keep, keep, keep for it's important for you to, to keep your connection. Um, oh, we will definitely. So what, what, when Shelly does her writing, um, does Shelly have a goal for this writing? Is there something she should, she should be doing with this? with her creating what should what is what is how sh should she be sharing her writing hmm. um right now it's mainly for her to sort her mind okay she, she does she has things um her music uh mm -hmm. it's a uh, her music, her music uh she doesn't think uh that it's very good and she doesn't think it touches people, but uh, what she needs to understand is that um, when she plays her keyboard, uh, that uh, she, she she's opening a portal in a way oh. for many. Right. Um, is that for, for those them. who hear it? 
Yes, and for herself and for those who hear it, uh, she um, doesn't, she uh, puts too much pressure on herself that uh, it's not good enough. And, um, uh. but she needs to continue that uh, and play. Uh, it's more important for her to freestyle uh her songs and, and put those out there because that's when she's uh she's playing through her heart and she's uh connected in that higher vibration so she's bringing in that higher vibrational and uh many who listen feel that no probably how not. should how should she go about sharing is there a special way that she should be doing that? She's uh, she's on YouTube. Um, okay. She uh, sometimes uh, she will put it out there because uh, we we want her to put it out there, and she'll be brave for a minute, and then she thinks that uh, somebody's not going to like it, and so she'll take it down a lot. She. Uh, she she needs to get over that. Um, yep. <laughs> you know, if people don't want to listen, they don't have to listen. But uh, be brave. Yes. Get out there. May I ask you, Shelly has been having a hard time sleeping lately. Um, what can you tell us about that, and what should she do to fix this problem? She, uh, when she's awake in the middle of the night, uh, that needs to be her time to connect to the universe. So um, she's uh, not, uh, it's for a reason. Uh, the energy is at that moment very intense and it's a very good time to uh, bring in that energy. And uh, when she calls it in, uh, it comes to the planet. So instead of uh, laying in bed and um, trying to sleep or uh, getting on her phone, uh, she should be just uh, talk, talking to the universe. Uh, she, she, uh, she has a strong connection, and uh, she she knows that. So that's uh, okay. That's... Very good. Could you please um, take a look at Shelley's body, her physical and energetic bodies, and tell me? If there is anything out of alignment, anything that needs to be adjusted or healed right now? Her, her side, um, when she uh, drinks the beer and uh, oh. she takes a, a BC powder, uh, that's, uh, that's not good for that. Um, okay. So should she stop doing that? Uh, she should. Nothing should be done in excess. Okay. Um, uh, moderation in, uh, you, you're just experiencing this life. So uh, the most important thing though is to listen to, she should listen to, she, she does listen to her body. Um, but uh, the food is a big one. Uh, should she be changing anything in her diet? She already knows what she needs to change. <laughs> okay. Uh, she Very just good. She's got to do it. Uh, okay. She, she, she knows how to eat right. And uh, mm -hmm. when she, when she, uh, when she eats the, the, the vegetables and her herbs and her spices, uh, she vibrates very high. Okay. Very good. But goes back to uh, discipline. Uh, don't want to stress discipline, but because um, there again, she gets caught up in that. Oh, uh, I have to do this and this and this, or I'm just falling. Uh, and that's very counterproductive. Um, mm -hmm. I know important thing is uh, yeah she uh she she most of the time she does pretty good she gets up and uh, she takes her uh, 
She takes her cinnamon and she knows that that uh, helps her with blood sugar and um, more sunlight. She hasn't been going out in the sunlight. Like, that's very important for her to connect to the sun. Mm -hmm. um, leave in the house more uh, exercise. Yeah, that is a big one. Uh, uh, nature. Those okay. are the things that, uh, but as far as her, her body, uh, she was feeling a little bit of pain, but she, um, you know, when she goes up in the, the ships at night, uh, she, she's healed. Uh, okay. Um, so she, she does, she, she gets her. Her healing. She, mm -hmm. um, yeah. How do her chakras look? Do you see anything that needs to be removed or adjusted? Chakras are in alignment. Very good. Very good. What about her auric field? Are there any rips or tears, openings, anything that we need to adjust? You can just give her eyes. Uh, just give her your energy or a lot of protection uh, yes absolutely absolutely are there any particular angels or guides or is there anyone in particular she's close to that she should be calling uh, she, upon well, she has many uh and um yeah she 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 knows uh, they're with her all the time very uh, good she knows mm -hmm. of course are there any attachments, any entities or energies that we need to take off of Shelly today? No, no, not today. Uh, okay. The thing is, uh, uh, she, she, she helps souls cross over and. Um, ah, yes. Okay. She, uh, what we did she, today. What uh, she needs to do is, and she does this uh, constantly being aware, uh, no matter where she goes, that uh, she needs to be talking to them and, and um, encouraging them to look around and see their angels and, and return to, to source. Um, some of them, the, they don't know, they, so okay. they're confused. And yes. um, her light shines really bright, so they see it, mm -hmm. and they come to her uh, in her sleep a lot. Yes, uh, and she she has been doing that. She has been helping. We did it today. Yes, and we did. Thank you. There, thank you. Yes, uh, there was many. Uh, you probably don't realize how many, but she's some multitudes. Very good. It's important work. Very important. Thank you. Yes. Um, are there any, since she is doing this work, um, are there any cords or attachments uh, to Shelly that we need to remove today? Make sure she's nice no, and clear. No, no, no she's her, clear. Her cords are, she has a, uh, she saw her blue attachment, but that is her attachment to, um, to the, her her team her galactic family um a blue attachment her, can you tell us more about the blue attachment well, it's it just does? her uh it is it, it needs to be there okay very good um, is that something all humans have oh we all we're all attached yeah if we okay. didn't have our attachments we would not come back into our okay. bodies uh but we're yeah we're all we all have that attachment. Hers is blue because um, it's just uh, it's just how she perceives her uh, her galactic family as blue. When she when she okay. goes into the ships, it's she goes through blue. Blue. Uh, her her husband saw her come out of the blue portal one night, and uh, oh, he is. He was scared. <laughs> oh my goodness! She'll have to share that with me. <laughs> yeah. she, oh, she, she wow! Re she reassured him it was okay. Um, is her her husband um 
Has she had lifetimes with him before? Are they on a mission together? Many, Is there anything you'd like many. to share? Many. Okay. He, he uh, is her protector and uh, her, they, they, they've had many, that's why when he uh, saw her, he uh, sought her out and she said uh, she thought she knew him already because mm -hmm. they, mm, that's a yeah, that's a he, blessing they found each other he he, nice. he had well, he came here because he had to uh he he, he is uh, he protects her and he takes care of her very nice before we bring shelly back is there anything else you would like her to know anything at all you would like to say to her Stop worrying, we tell you that every time. <laughs> Stop worrying. Okay. Very good. I think that's easier said than done sometimes, but I know she's going to work on that. Definitely. All right. Is there anything else? Thank you for your work. Very good. Thank you for coming through and speaking with us today. We are so grateful for everything that you and her team have shared with us today. That's really wonderful. Now. Thank, thank you. You're the crown team. We thank you. Well, thank, oh, you're so welcome. I love what I do. And I know Shelly does too. And she has an exciting journey ahead of her, I'm sure. So. She's, uh, she's, uh, her journey is now. She's uh, yes. She, uh, have to look for. Uh, that's another thing. She, she her her joy is not in, down the road. It's right here, right now, in this moment. Okay. We're going to ask. We're going to thank you again for all that you have shared with us. We are going to thank our angels, our guides, the team you, her higher self, all who have come through to share with us today. And we are going to bring back the consciousness of Shelly. We are bringing back the consciousness of Shelly now. I'm asking all the beings that we have encountered to recede back to where they belong. Thank you so much for the information you've given us. And in a moment, I am going to count to 10. And at the count of 10, Shelly, you will be wide awake and feeling the best you have felt in a very, very long time for as far back as you can remember. One, two, you are becoming more alert. Three, four, you can move your arms and legs around. Five, six, you can rotate the wrists and the ankles and get your blood flowing faster. Seven, eight, you are becoming more alert now and aware of the sounds around you. Nine, 10, wide awake, 